This preservation and restoration project of Tokyo Station began in May 2007. In starting the project, certain general policies were agreed upon. First, in order to build a stately cityscape, the station would be restored to look as it did at the time of its foundation. And, as a national important cultural property, the station building would be preserved as much as possible due to its historical value. And third, the restored Marunouchi Station building would be utilized for many years to come. Under these policies, and under the understanding that it would keep its function as a working station, the project turned out to be a major undertaking, requiring more than five years to complete. Tokyo Station, the gateway to the Japanese capital. The construction of adjacent passage areas was conducted every night after the last train departed in order to ensure the safety of the traveling public. It was decided that the main feature of this project should be the restoration of the station's symbolic domes in both the south and north end. The project team had fully researched from various angles how to reconstruct the domes which were burned down by the air raids 67 years ago. As the research went on, the incredible design of the dome's inner wall was unveiled. One could simply see the strong persistence of the architect, Kingo Tatsuno. The color used for the plastered ceiling and wall was an elegant egg yolk yellow, which showed an amazing color contrast with its three different levels of shading. In the center of the ceiling, there was a beautiful garland carved in clear detail and around it, 2.1 meter wide dynamically sculptured eagles, wings spread, ready to take flight. The wall featured a keystone in the shape of a warrior helmet. The wall also featured reliefs of Chinese zodiac signs, such as a dog, a tiger, an ox, a boar, and a dragon, also sculptured on each corner of the octagon-shaped dome. The beauty of the sculptures of sharp-edged swords on the sides of the window, and the dignified figure of a phoenix attract visitors from all over. Preserving the original reliefs which survived the war, was one of the important features of the construction. They can be seen in gray here. The construction of the exterior of the domes has been carefully restored piece by piece, combining the now seldom seen traditional architectural engineering, such as plastering and covering with artificial stone, with the latest technology. In so doing, the very original appearance was finally resurrected in our time. The architectural engineering of modern age has been combined with the leading edge technology of today into the making of this project. If you look closely, you can see that the color of the exterior wall is different from the first and the second floors to the third floor. This is because the preserved wall was able to be used for the lower floors while only a restored wall with new materials could be used for the top floor.